Hi, and welcome to my video on the Raymer Douglas Poiker algorithm. Thanks to Dan Schiffman, who covered this algorithm on his YouTube channel, The Coding Train. Check out the link in the description below. First, a little background. This is John, a longtime friend. John likes to ride his bicycle. He likes riding his bike so much that he planned and rode a 4,600 mile loop from New York City down the spine of the Blue Ridge Mountains to Georgia, across the Appalachians to the Midwestern states, across Wisconsin, down Lake Michigan coast, and on through Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and back home. A fantastic achievement. For details about John's ride, check out his blog. There's a link in the description below. To track his progress, John brought a GPS device along for the ride. The device collected John's latitude, longitude, and elevation every two minutes during his ride. As impressive as this map looks, I thought it would be interesting to see a three-dimensional plot of his ride. So I processed the daily ride logs and extracted the lat, long, and elevation for the start and stop locations of each day's ride. I fed the data into the computer and produced this diagram. The plot actually contains the elevation for each start-stop point, but because this is a view from space looking down at the surface of the Earth, you can't really see that elevation data. So I added a slider to rotate the data, and in doing so, the elevation information is revealed. Basically, this shows the route from the side rather than from the top. The y-axis rotation slider can be used to rotate the graph as well, giving the illusion of walking around the outside of the route, looking inwards towards its center. But there's a fly in the ointment. Throwing away the second-by-second -second GPS data in favor of just 75 daily start-stop points is a little misleading. For example, it's possible for John to start a ride at 8 a.m. in the morning at some given elevation, ride down a steep slope to the valley floor, and ride back up a steep slope, ending the day at 5 p.m. at the same elevation at which he started. My graph would show a flat, short, easy ride for that day, completely obscuring whatever really happened. Non-straight routes, like mountain switchbacks, are also an issue. Wouldn't it be great if I could use all the GPS data? The problem is that there are 640,000 data points for John's entire ride. That's just too many points for my rotation app to deal with. That's where the Raymer douglas poiker algorithm comes in. Given an acceptable fudge factor, called epsilon, RDP keeps the points that lie outside this error value and tosses the points that lie within that error. In this example, the ride started with 25 data points, but most were tossed and only 7 were kept. A 70% reduction. Not a perfect map, but more accurate than the straight line without having to use all the data points. Here's how the RDP algorithm works. Here is a small set of data points. Start the RDP algorithm by choosing a suitable epsilon. The larger the epsilon, the less accurate the line connecting the points will be. Next, draw a line between the first and last points. Then examine each of the in-between points and calculate the distance from that point to the line, looking for the one that's furthest from the line. Let's call this point Dmax. If Dmax's distance is less than epsilon, then all the other points are closer to the line than epsilon as well, and you're done. A straight line between the start and end is the best approximation. Throw away all the points and just keep the start and end. Let's see how this works if epsilon was a smaller number. In that case, the point Dmax needs to be kept, and there's more work to be done. To proceed, erase the initial line that you drew from start to end and replace it with two lines, one from start to Dmax and the second from Dmax to end. Now perform the RDP algorithm on each of the two lines independently. Figure out if start Dmax needs to be tweaked and if so, tweak it. 
When that's all done, figure out if Dmax to end needs to be tweaked, and if so, tweak it. Here's an app that illustrates how the RDP algorithm goes from a low fidelity first approximation, a straight line from start to end, to ever increasing fidelity approximations as epsilon is made smaller and smaller. This video uses the 78 point start stop points from John's ride as illustration. For a small data set, the app is lightning fast, but for the entire 640,000 point data set, it takes a long time to compute. Here is a sequence of still scenes starting with all 640,000 points that show how the line changes as epsilon goes down. At some point, each of the white dots, the raw data points, is covered by the red line. This happened with epsilon set to 0.056. That leaves a total of only 171 points, a reduction of 99.97% with no visual loss of accuracy. But let's take a closer look at Epsilon. What does the value of 0.056 mean for this data set? Remember, this is data from latitude and longitude. One degree of latitude is approximately 365,000 feet, or 69 miles. An Epsilon of 0.056 means that points are thrown out even if they're as far away as 4 miles off course. So while the graph looks fine and very accurate on screen, it's still throwing away a lot of accuracy. By trial and error, I found that an epsilon of 0.000045 represents a deviance of only 16 feet and retains 46,730 points, a reduction of 93%. This may still not be large enough of a reduction for the 3D rotation app to process smoothly, but it's now a trade-off between performance and high fidelity. Thanks for watching.